More news coming in. Bollywood sex abuse row is in top court now. Actor Siddiq blames, or rather claims, his image is being tarnished. Siddiq says complainant had accused many people. My image is being tarnished is what he said. This is the Bollywood sex row after the Hema Comedy report that spoke of several problems within the film industry. Now, the actor who had been accused of molestation has said that the person who's filed the complaint is a habitual offender. She has been complaining is what is being said. Actor Siddiq claims his image is being tarnished. The matter is in top court is what we know. The Hema Kamdi report had shown the light on the kind of problems that people within the Kerala film industry within Mollywood were facing. Actor Siddiq's name had also cropped up with the complainant coming forward talking about sexual abuse. Now, he says that this is an attempt to malign my image. Supreme Court grants bail also to the Malayalam actor. Siddiq in a rape case against him based on allegations leveled by a young doctor. That's the story we are breaking at this hour. There is a condition as well. Shall cooperate with the investigation and surrender the passport to the trial court. And shall be joining the investigation. So relief there for actor Siddiq from the Supreme Court of India. Remember the Hema Committee report had spoken about the fact that the Malayalam film industry sees a great deal of harassment. Actor, producer Siddiq has spoken about the fact now that I am being targeted. My image is getting maligned. He has been granted relief from the court. He has been granted bail. But there is a condition that he should be surrendering his passport to the trial court and that he must cooperate in the investigations. The, the court, in fact, previously had granted the Malayalam actor director interim protection from arrest. Now he's been granted bail. Remember, this is the fallout and the investigations after the Hema Committee report, which exposed the exploitation in the Malayalam film industry, sparking investigations and prompting many people to come out and tell their story about exploitation that they, in fact, had dealt with. Tanu Sharda is in court getting us more details. Big relief there for actor, director Siddiq there with the Supreme Court granting him bail. What are the conditions? Elaborate on that, Kanu. Uh, yes, Neha, big relief for the actor Siddiqui from the Supreme Court. The uh, Supreme Court today granted him uh, bail uh, in the connection with rape case filed against by an actress. Supreme Court took note of the fact that uh, the actress took eight years to file a formal complaint against Siddiqui. Uh, the court took exception to the fact that why did she not complain earlier and not appear before the HEMA committee also. Uh, the top court questioned uh, the actress' conduct saying that she had the courage of uh, posting everything, whatever has happened with her on her Facebook account, but she has not, uh, you know, filed a formal complaint. Uh, the, as far as the conditions are, uh, uh, conditions are concerned, uh, actor will have to uh, surrender his passport, will not leave the country without informing the court, and will, you know, invest, uh, cooperate with the investigation because the Kerala police, in, uh, during the arguments opposing the bail, uh, interim bail being extended uh, by the top court, uh, was arguing that, you know, he is not cooperating with the investigation, he is not, he is evasive in his reply, and Siddiqui was, you know, even asked questioning the in, uh, IO of the case that, you know, the question is not relevant to the case. So, uh, uh, the senior advocate Mukul Rohat, who was appearing for Siddiqui, uh, told the top court that uh, that he is cooperating with the investigation. But on the other hand, the IO who was represented by senior advocate Ranjit Kumar before the top court was contending that he is evasive in his replies, and that is why his custodial interrogation is required. But now the top court has put an um, end, end to this controversy in the Supreme Court so far, and has yet granted uh, the uh, the uh, the Siddiqui. Uh, bail uh, and the trial in the case will now go on uh, in the Kerala only. Back to you. Thus, uh, Kanu, getting in those details, I'm also now going to go across straight to Shibi Mole tracking that important story for us. Big relief there for writer Siddiqui there, but also, you know, Shibi, the fact of the matter is that this report itself had opened a can of worms, really, about the manner in which there was exploitation within the industry uh, you know put this into perspective and also get us up to speed with the investigation so far uh, well uh, 
like you rightly pointed out, Sneha, this uh, whole Hema Committee report uh, had Hema Committee report had uh, you know created a major controversy in the industry with uh, you know the industry coming under major criticism. Uh, and uh, you know, around 23 FIRs have been registered as what you know because the Kerala High Court had asked the Kerala Police to submit the details of the investigation. And in the last year, the Kerala High Court had also said that the investigation is going in the right direction. Uh, it's a good investigation that's currently taking place. There are certain cases out of the 23 FIRs registered in that five cases. Uh, the complainants are not willing to cooperate with the investigation. They do not want to continue with the investigation. So the court had asked them to court had asked the police to give exemption to them and focus on the other cases. Now, Sidix has been the most, uh, you know, the sensational case among all of that because his complainant raised this issue back in 2018 and 2019 also. Uh, she posted on Facebook, but she had not filed a complaint formally. She had not approached the Justice Hema Committee uh, when this committee was set up by the state government back then in 2019. Uh, so. And that's exactly what the Supreme Court had questioned here also today while granting bail to actor Siddiq saying that, uh, you know, she had the courage to post on Facebook but not formally file a complaint. She has taken eight years, almost eight years to come forward and file this complaint. So uh, what was the long wait, what was his courage on Facebook but not on, uh, you know, not to formally file a complaint. And also the, uh, the uh, Siddiq's uh, lawyer had also said that uh, if this is a revenge, you know, this is uh, not an actual case. This is a revenge case that's been filed by her. She's very close to the... Uh, WCC, which is a Women in Cinema collect, uh, Collective Cinema, an organization formed by the women artists of Malaram industry after the actress assault case took place uh, in 20, 2017. Uh, so she says that, uh, so the lawyer says that Siddiq, uh, who was the general secretary of AMMA, the Association of Malala Movie Artists, uh, was not somebody who, who was liked or who was, uh, you know, liked by the WCC members. And there's a lot of friction going on between these, uh, these two associations. The revenge case is what uh, the what Siddiq's lawyer argued at the court, but uh, again, uh, the, the uh, victim's lawyer has said that, uh, you know, uh, if uh, Siddiq is granted bail, this sends a wrong message that there's zero tolerance uh, towards, uh, zero tolerance against crime, against women and children, uh, this will become an illusion that the statement that there will be zero tolerance against uh, crime, against uh, women and children. Uh, but uh, it's a major relief for him, though the case, though, uh, you know, he has been not cooperating with the investigation, what uh, the SIT has been consistently informing the court that uh, whenever he's been summoned, he's been, uh, first time he came without the documents, the second time he came, uh, evading a lot of questions, asking what is the relevance of this question, why should I answer this question, that question. So, uh, but, uh, you know, the, the investigation in this particular case has not been going on in the right direction or it's not going on well is what the investigative team has uh, informed the court. But, uh, uh, you know, at the end of it, uh, he's got uh, bail and it's a major relief for him as well as the industry and also the AMMA Association because he has been the General Secretary and some of its main people have been under the radar after the same Committee report had come out. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. Shibhi Mol getting us those details. As far as this uh, big relief there for actor Siddiq is concerned, uh, Shibhi was telling us about the entire investigation in this entire matter. Remember, he's got bail from the Supreme Court today. As far as the investigations are concerned, he's spoken about the fact that the attempt is to defame him. Kanu continues to be with us. Kanu, for our viewers, you were taking them through the bail conditions. Actor Siddiq in court has said that he's being defamed. The person who complained against him is a habitual offender. But this matter is going to follow law. Uh, the investigations will follow law, given that there are... The allegations are of serial mis serious miscon of mis instances of misconduct, uh, you know, sexual harassment against actor Sadiq, isn't it? Uh, yes, uh, Sneha, you're right that, you know, the allegations were serious enough, but the, the whole point is that, you know, as far as the law is concerned, the, the, the top court has analyzed the fact that, you know, she has, you know, uh, she has the courage of putting everything on her Facebook account, but she didn't choose the right way of uh, filing the complaint that is to go into, go, go into the police. On that, on that aspect, the actress who was represented by advocate Vrinda Grover in the top court contended that she had not uh, gone to the police because in Justice Hema Committee report also, it was mentioned that many such harassments ha are happening across the entire industry, but uh, you know the actress because of their because of not getting the fear of not getting the work um, of of the acting uh, does this and and keep uh, keep uh, the keep the keep the silent. Uh, don't speak about these incidents so so often, and that is why the top court uh, contended that this this allegation and the, these things uh, doesn't hold uh, much. In, as far as the law is concerned and that is why Supreme Court also took note of the fact that she had put up a 
post on Facebook making rape allegations against 13 other people as well. This was, uh, you know, uh, this this particular statement was made in uh, by Siddiqui's counsel, senior advocate Mukul Rohotgi, who had contended that, you know, uh, it was not only Siddiqui who has faced this kind of allegation, but 13 other people from the same uh, from the same uh, actress only. So uh, these kind of allegations and keeping everything in mind, the top court, uh, you know, uh, granted uh, Siddiqui anticipatory bail and imposed those conditions. Uh, in, in case of any other uh, additional condi- conditions like, you know, he has to appear before the trial court, that always remains. He has to surrender his passport and he has to cooperate in the investigation. But if if the trial court feels that some other investigate, uh, uh, another condition is said to be imposed on Aksa Siddiqui, then uh, the, the, uh, the trial court is free enough to do that um, when the trial in the case begins. Take us to the specifics of what had the actors said, essentially. When the case, in fact, uh, the actors said that the incident occurred uh, dated back to the year 2016. What more details can you tell us about that particular allegation? See, uh, uh, senior advocate Mukul Rohatgi clearly told that he uh, he's a senior, he's a senior citizen. The complaint is of August 24, and th- whereas the incident is of 2016. So questioning the delay part and questioning that she had the courage of writing on the Facebook and not revealing the, the facts of the case before the police is what, you know, it was contended by actor Siddiqui. Then uh, he uh, the, another contention was raised on the e- issue of age of the actress. On one page, he, uh, on one Facebook account, uh, the age was mentioned as 21. And on another document, another set of documents which are submitted before the police is 19. So the question of age was also discussed uh, before the uh, before the top court uh, as far as the, the the credibility of that actress is concerned. So this raises a, a huge, huge uh, issue as far as the credibility in the cases of these sexual assault and sexual harassment cases, which, you know, uh, women generally file uh, uh, in, in, the, in these cases. So if... Uh, the top court had contended that it, she had the courage of, you know, writing on the Facebook, but not the courage of going as on a page, uh, on a formal complaint. So this delay of eight years um, is has, you know, uh, has heavily damaged uh, the actress case before the top court, and that is why the Supreme Court had to, you know, extend uh, the interim bail and now directed the the Kerala court to impose further conditions on actor Siddiqui if they want and the trial will now go on in the trial, uh, in the Kerala. All right, only. I'm going to leave it at that. Kanu getting in those details, putting that story into perspective, thanking Shibi also for her inputs on that story.